So, um, we're here at COP15 um, and it's the second day we're here. Yesterday we got in really, really tired after an incredibly long journey on the train and pretty much no sleep, but luckily there was a friendly face of someone you know, to meet us and show us the ropes. So we went off to the hostel and dropped our stuff off and then we came up here to COP15 to register, which was quite a long process. But we got it and we're here and we have somewhere our passes, which is exciting. Um, so it gives us access to most things in the conference, apart from obviously there are lots of closed events as well. So yesterday um, we were just really trying to take in, sort of, sort of understand what was going on, what was happening. Uh, there are just so many people here, as you might be able to hear in the background, even though this is like a quiet spot. Um, there's lots of uh, there's governmental organisations, governments across the world, so there's non-governmental organisations, there's loads of young people doing stuff, um, there's been lots of kind of sort of people protesting and parading about and there's lots of kind of protesters outside, uh, so it's really busy and exciting and lots of stuff going on. And um, anything else we did yesterday? So we got here, we did that, I went and found the computers, there's huge computer suites, they've put in uh, amazing kind of Wi-Fi uh, internet access for everyone here. And so yesterday I was um, seeing the blog, and we're blogging about what we're doing. Um, then we went to uh, an intergenerational equity meeting, which is just discussing kind of the role of, sort of young people and older people and how the young people influence sort of politics and what's happening, you know, at the moment, um, especially here and in the future. So it's really interesting speakers there. Um, and we managed to get uh, climate school cop art art up shown in the background, a question and answer session, which sure are a few photographs on. So that's really good and really exciting to see, have seen by lots of people, lots of young people. And there are a few people from the UK there that we were attempting to recruit. So um, it was really great. We kind of met a few people, got talking to them, and then we went off to um, a young people's uh, youth forum event where people were giving talks and there are um, a couple of guys up sort of discussing the, the chairman of negotiations and things. Um, so that was quite cool, quite exciting. I did lots of photographs of that. And then after that we went elsewhere in town and um, this guy who's a VJ, he does um, stuff. <laughs> What's it called? Our home is burning. Our home is burning, sorry. And uh, he, uh, yeah, it's a really interesting kind of VJ, video DJ work. Um, that's really relevant to what's happening at the moment. And that was quite good, a nice calm little space, which was good after the kind of busyness of the rest of the day. And then we eventually made it back to the hostel rather late and sat up trying to do stuff and organise photographs and things. We got to bed pretty late, which, uh, yeah. And we got this morning and we're here now, so just ready to face the rest of the day and see what happens, which we'll let you know. Thanks. Is there anything interesting over there? No.